Collective. The Norwegian Gamer. Hi guys, Hyperlative here, the Norwegian Gamer. And in this video, I just wanted to... Um, well, by the way, this is the MW2, if you didn't notice. I played some with my friends recently, and uh, I did actually quite well in one of the games. Do With the MP5, actually. Who'd have thunk? Uh, well, back to what I kind of wanted to give my short opinion on in this short video is um, two things. First, EA recently said that they're going to make some of their games exclusive to their origin store, their new uh, web store for digital downloads of games. Uh, most recently they pulled Crisis 2 from Steam and they didn't pull from Director Drive nor Impulse I believe and and they said that was because they wanted to get, have some kind of variety. It seems like they have some kind of gripe with Valve which is strange since Valve has used them as a publisher for their uh, for the Orange Box and Portal 2 to, for consoles, so I don't know what the deal is there. Um, but I don't know if they're gonna just going to publish some of the games in the Origin Store. I'm not going to buy them unless it's Battlefield 3. Seriously, I'm not going to buy games in another store than Steam because it's not as convenient. I mean, the only reason I haven't downloaded League of Legends like yet Dude, is that it is not Steam, good. and since it's not on Steam, I never get around to it, and it's. A little bit more of a hassle having it in another in a different client and it, steam just makes it easy and for me they've made me not want to buy their games anymore so I don't know I ho hope uh, it's not it's not some kind of a new thing for for EA it seems like it is I really hope it's not because it's just gonna prevent me from buying games from them uh, another thing that I wanted to kind of cover just lightly is um, is that 2K, the publishers of uh, of Duke Nukem, for example, has actually uh, recently kicked their um, their advertising firm. Uh, what the CEO of the advertising firm recently Yay. said that some of the uh, websites and magazines that cover games and reviewed Duke Nukem Forever and gave it uh, gave it bad scores or wrote you know bad things about Duke Nukem in their reviews wouldn't get uh, games for review new or other newer games for review when 2K has some new games you know get their early uh, early access to the games and to give their review they he would go through the list again and you know revise it as it were right after 2K had heard that they actually kicked the advertising firm they said that you know what? We don't want to have you <laughs> you connected to us if you're going to be like that. The CEO later kind of uh, apologized for what he said and said it was uh, came from emotions and he shouldn't have said it. That's true, but you shouldn't you shouldn't have said it at all. That's just bad. Uh, that's just bad. Straight up bad. So, um, 2K has uh, severed their ties with them. I think that's really adult of 2K and. Even though they've used them for years, I think it's very grown up, very adult, and it shows responsibility. And that's that's really good. So that's it, guys. Guys, guys, uh, it was a short clip, but it was a short message too. I hope you enjoyed. See you next time. Snackies.